am Christine Jorquera. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm a junior double majoring in psychology and human rights, and I'm currently running for the USG president um, position. Um, some of my involvement, I am currently the student development director for USG. Um, this past year, you may have seen the Justice Now initiative, um, which was founded and implemented by me. Um, we worked tirelessly with the help of, I obviously have to give credit to my team, uh, Rita Tonlu and Darren Mack for helping get those amazing speakers to the Yukon community. Um, we have also um, been uh, hardly working on the cultural appreciation series, which works on providing appreciation and visibility to the various cultures and backgrounds of our student body. Um, and then outside of USG, I am currently the vice president and academic chair for Lambda Theta Alpha Latin Sorority Incorporated, which is a um, cultural sorority. Um, we are Latin by tradition, not by definition. I grew up in New Haven. My involvement in USG, I was the senator for my building Worth Tower, where I was also part of the public health learning community. Um, I had served as president of the public health learning community for my sophomore year. Um, currently involved in being a Husky ambassador. Um, oh, sorry, what else? Um, I'm a PAC leader as well, so I go around giving talks about sexual assault violence, uh, stalking, incident violences. Um, I'm also part of other tier two organizations. Um, yeah, and SUBOC. Our sophomore year, we initially ran together as co-senators for Worth Tower to be part of USG and to make a real difference. But we started out freshman year because we lived on the same floor. We really hit it off, became quick friends. Um, she kind of inspires me every day. She always teaches me something new. And when she asked me if I wanted to be her vice president candidate, I was like, absolutely. I couldn't think of a single person better suited for the job and I believed in more. So I'm very honored to be her candidate, her running mate. We are kind of running on uh, the values of elevating the hearts and minds of students, um, empowering students to empower students, and embracing equitable solutions to bring justice back to our communities. I think communication transparency is one of our biggest initiatives, especially when it comes to trying to elevate the hearts and minds of students. I think there's a huge gap between USG and the student body as a whole. I think a lot of students don't realize that we even have a student government or the role that it actually plays. Um, I think something that we're very passionate about is having these open lines of communication, having semesterly town halls with students, um, and just more than once or twice a semester. I mean, actively talking to students, constantly getting feedback, meeting with tier two organizations and other clubs, and really just getting a sense of how students are feeling. I think once, I think what we've seen in the past is once presidents have been elected, they want to try and be transparent and hold town hall meetings, but it kind of fizzled out with all of the culture, toxic culture that USG has had. Um, so really just changing the foundation and the culture of the organization as a whole. I think part of that is being an active member of the community. Um, I don't think that it's enough to kind of just like ask students to fill out an end of the year or end of the semester survey and talk about what they're feeling or what better we can do. I think that comes from genuine personal conversations that we have with students from all spheres and walks of UConn, um, no matter what their affiliation is or what kind of club they represent. Um, I think that's an active role of the president and vice president duty to be an active member of the community and making sure that the voices and uh, representation of students are being heard. It's not just an attack on one race or whatever, but it's an attack on all of us as a collective, as a campus, as one UConn. Um, I'm not a fan of cancel culture. I think we should educate first. We should come together. Right now, being a student is so difficult because we all have, we're, we're no longer facing similar situations. 
Um, one student can be on campus and dealing with their own set of mental health issues. And another student can be at home um, taking online school where they have to help support their families by taking up another job or helping with their siblings, et cetera. Um, right now, mental health is so Im more important now than ever. I truly believe that we're going through a mental health crisis and we need to help, we need to implement initiatives, we need to implement s better support for our students because right now more than ever is when we need these resources. So I've known Noel for three years now um, and while he's definitely been a pain in the butt sometimes, he's definitely been my biggest supporter. Um, and I think with us, we kind of come with this unique set of experiences where we found our own paths in knowing each other. We came from the same place from building upon the community that we found at public health, um, but then pursuing our own needs. And if there's one thing that I would use to describe Noelle and I, it really is resilience. Um, I don't think that we've had it easy. Our transition to college, that's definitely what united us was the fact that we had all these boundaries, we had all these walls that were kind of always against us. Like as BIPOC students, as uh, women of color, as a woman of color, as being raised in the Latinx community, we have these cultural differences that uniquely set up our set set us up to fail. Basically, um, despite all of that, though, we still persisted. No matter how many challenges we faced, no matter how many hurdles, injustices um, we faced, we continue to keep going. And I think that's a unique thing about us is that whether it was we felt we needed to take time apart from USG in order to heal, whether we decided to continue with USG to make it what we wanted it to be because we knew that it could do better. Um, I think we bring that unique set of experiences where we know what USG needs and we know what the Yukon community needs because we need it as well as students. I believe in for the students, by the students. I believe in human rights for all. And I believe that that's what we're a reflection of.